Hello, welcome to a brand new video. So in this video, it's going to be my top 10 favourite Doctor Who Dalek stories from the heart. And in this story, I'm going to include every single Dalek story for all, from their very first appearance up to the most recent one in the modern era. So here is my 10 favourite Doctor Who Dalek stories on DVD and Blu-ray. So in 10th place, it is the Dalek Death to the Daleks. Now, this was my all-time first ever Doctor Who story I watched when I was... I was actually three years old when I actually sat down to watch this episode. It's just truly an amazing and epic story, I thought, at the time. It's in 10th place. It's in 10th place because it truly is fantastic and brilliant. The title is Crush Lands on the Planet Speridon. This has got Sarah Jane Smith's 31st Dalek story. This is John Pertwee's last Dalek story. I have to say, I do like the design of the Daleks. For this one, in for one, this is the only story the Daleks actually look, had this kind of casing. It's a shame they never actually brought these casings back. I like it. Silver, black, with the black, with a bit of black on it. It's just truly and a good... These Daleks remind me a bit of the William Hartnell ones, but different again. It's just such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story, and I do love this story. It's literally, truly one of the best ones. It's not the best, best, because the best, best is coming up late in a bit. But this is truly a good Dalek story, and I do love Death to the Daleks. It was my very first ever Dalek story I ever watched. It's just truly amazing and epic Dalek story. I love the little snake things where it comes out the walls, and you've got the Daleks going, Exterminate, 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 and the creature just glitch goes to the Dalek casing and blows... Kills the music inside, and then you've got the Dalek falling off the cliff straight into the water. It's just such a brilliant one. And the, the Exodons in this is just another good alien design. They try, they literally, for half of it, they proved they were vulnerable against the Daleks until the Daleks get their machine guns added onto them. And then the Daleks become the victories in this, and they invade. It's just such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story and my, one of my all-time favourites. So next up it is the Chase. Unfortunately, I do not own any of the Chase Daleks yet. So it's just why I've had to put these ones here because they kind of are a bit like the Chase Daleks. But without the the only difference is for the Chase Daleks, you have these little slats here across them. That's the first thing I got brought in. So the Chase, again, is another fantastic Doctor Who story. This is one where you have the Daleks back and you have a big consequences in this because Ian and Barbara decide to leave the Doctor after this story. It's literally a good story from season two. This is not the best. This is not my all-time favourite 60s Dalek story. I'm afraid I have to be the Dalek in of Earth. But this one is the one. You've got the Daleks chasing after the Doctor for all of his victories against them in the in Daleks and the Dalek Vision of Earth. It's just such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story and it's such an epic one either. I mean, literally you go to a ship, which is um, explains how the crew vanished. You got uh, the Empire State, you got them going to Dracula's pl place, and you've even got the very first story, this is the very first and only story with the mechanoids in it, the Daleks' deadly enemies. It's just such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story, and it's such an epic one as well. I do love the chase in this why it's in ninth place. The chase is such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story. It's, and then this one, the Daleks are literally just chasing after the Doctor and the TARDIS crew. It's just another brilliant, brilliant Dalek story. Just an epic one again. It's just really, really is, and it's just so brilliant and fantastic. I do love the chase. I do love the bit where the chase, like you got the du you got the Doctor inside the TARDIS trying to get away from them, and the chase of the Daleks. I do hope um, when I do do another the chase Daleks set, because I'm hoping to get the ones that's coming out next week. They add the ones with the seismic detector where they use to detect the TARDIS in the sand. And I love it at the bit of episode one where you got like the sandstorm and then you've got a dialect going. Eh, eh, eh. It's just such a good dialect story, the chases, and it's six parts long. It's just such a brilliant, brilliant one as that. I do love the chase. So next up it is Revelation of the Daleks. Now this is the most ever Dalek story I have ever seen after Resurrection of the Daleks. Now this is a brilliant one again. Davros is on the planet Necros. He's experimenting on humans. He's actually turned one of the humans into a glass Dalek which you see here. And this is the very first time you see humans being 
changed into Daleks since the only time, because last time we saw the Daleks get mutated was back in just the Daleks and they were using the Carlids. So this is a new race of Daleks. You do get the return of the Relegate Daleks, which I hear, which is these ones, as you can see in the cover. Unfortunately, on figure, I don't own the Necros Daleks. So I can't really show you what the Necros Daleks look like. Apart from, they're like the Imperial Daleks from, from Remembers of the Daleks, but they've got a blue eye stalk, the white and gold, and they're such a brilliant, brilliant design. And this story is just fantastic. The Doctor gets called to, ne to Necros thinking one of his best friends, well, one of his good dear friends have passed away. And it was a trap created by Davros. And I love the bit where you see Davros is like flying and he goes, You fools! You cannot hurt me! I am Davros! It's just such a fantastic Dalek story all, all the way around. I just love this story. And it's, this is Colin Baker's only Dalek story he ever did. Same with Pete, Remembrance of the Daleks. Resurrection of the Daleks is Peter Davison's only one. I remember it's just McCoy. But this is just such a brilliant one. And the Daleks take Davros back back to Scarrow to be trialled for his crimes against the Dalek race or get by the Dalek Supreme. This story is just such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story. It's dark, it's gruesome, and it's... I never really used to be a big fan of this story, but re-watching it recently, a couple of weeks back, it's just it's grown on me an awful lot. I do love the story, it's fantastic. I don't look, like the cover on this as much. I like the VHS cover, which I don't own. From what a lot of the news, this is just a good, but this is a fantastic Dalek story. This is two parts long, and it's the last story of season 22. I really hope this one gets the good Blu ray treatment soon. So, I do love this story, it's literally fantastic and brilliant and epic. So, I really, 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 really do hope this story does get the special treatment it deserves because it's gruesome, it's horrifying, it's a bit like a horror film, but especially when you got the neck cross. With Davros's experiment on that Tasha's father, with with the brain black like, caught a blobby in the Dalek casing, is just such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story. And the music in this, which I'm playing at the background, if you can hear it, is just such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek theme. The Daleks are just brilliant. In this. this is a brilliant Dalek story. I do love this story. And Colin Baker is a brilliant Doctor in this against the Daleks. I just love it. Not many people like Colin Baker, but. I want to cosplay his costume, and personally, I do want to cosplay his costume. It's literally the brilliant, brilliant, brilliant costume. I do love the dark. This story is truly epic. This and Attack of the Sun are my two favourite gems from season 22, and this is just another brilliant Dalek story of all time. And if I just quickly show you the look at it, look at the glass Dalek. Isn't that look horrifying as enough? And you've got Tasha's dad with the brain chemicals. <laughs> if I can see if there's a better picture, and then you've got Davros's head in the big jar sort of thing. This is a really good, gruesome Doctor Who story. I do love this story. This is literally one of the epic Dalek stories from the 80s. So, so coming up, so next up in sixth place, it has to be. No, sorry, in seventh place, it's got to be Bad, Bad Wolf and Parting of the Waves. It's just such a brilliant Doctor Who story. Now, this is the only one for the modern era that's going to make it up into this list because the rest are brilliant and enjoyable, but they're not really the best because Classic Who has had a lot of better Dalek stories than the modern era. And I just love the modern era an awful lot. It's just a fantastic one. It's fantastic. It's brilliant. You've got the return of the Dalek Emperor. There's a big consequence. The Doctor's got to send Rose back home while he takes on a whole new Dalek Empire. It's just such a brilliant, brilliant Doctor Who story. And for this to become my all-time favourite most Dalek story, and this was broadcast way back in Doctor Who's very first season, the Daleks are truly epic in this story. They, I like that bit with Linda Y, where you got them trying to get into the game station, they're trying to burn their way through, and then all of a sudden, you got four Daleks coming at the back of her. You can't see what they're saying, but you know it's Exterminate from the way the lights are flashing. And you hear a scream. It's just such a brilliant Doctor Who story. I do love this one. And it's truly an epic one as well. This really is an epic one. Chris Eccleston is brilliant in this. It's, it's, it's last ever regeneration story. Of course, this is just a brilliant one. The Emperor Dalek is fantastic and amazing in this. The Return of the Emperor. The Daleks are amazing in this. I like how they behind the whole plot of the game station. You don't see them in Bad Wolf until like the last five minutes of the episode but when you get them get them in part of the ways 
they are way back as they were so awesome way back in 1963. It's just such an epic Dalek story for the modern era. It's personally, this is my favourite one of the modern era so far. The rest of the Daleks are brilliant, but this one is my all-time favourite. And Christopher Eccleston is amazing as the ninth incarnation of the Doctor. In number six, it is Planet of the Daleks. Now, this one is my second favourite John Pertwee Dalek story. It is amazing. There are Daleks on the planet Spiderman. They want the part of invisibility. You've got a deadly plague in this where the Daleks um, make a, kind of like a deadly virus. If I quickly show you the cover, that happens to the TARDIS on the planet Sparadon. It's just such an amazing one. Now, this is the Doctor Who Season 10 box set, because I haven't got part of the Dykes on DVD no more. I sold it for this box set, but I will be rebuying it for the DVD range again. But this story is truly epic and amazing, and I just love it. I love the Dykes Supreme in this as well. I haven't got the actual figure of it, but I like it all. I like the whole design. It's amazing. Oh, hang on, I forgot this. Actually, I have. Uh, hang on, just bear with me. There we are. That is the Dalek Supreme and this story. It is just truly amazing and epic. I love it. Let's look at that design. The Daleks are truly amazing in this story. I do. I didn't realise I had this on VHS. I've got it on Blu-ray and VHS. Just got to get the DVD. But this is literally, truly John Pertwee's best ever Dalek story after. It's just really is amazing Dalek story after the death of the Daleks kind of failed a bit. But this one rubbed them back in. This is literally a fantastic Dalek story all the way around. The Daleks want invisibility. If the Daleks ever get visibility, they become the more dangerous creatures in the universe. Think about it. You can't ever see a Dalek invisible. It would exterminate you on the spot. And it's just such a brilliant Dalek story. The Daleks want... We must have the power of invisibility. Sorry, I just had to do that. I just love this story. Planet of the Dice is literally... Oh, I love that bit where they're up the, like, the shaft. Like when they're like climbing up the shaft and you've got them like trying to escape and then you've got that Dalek coming up after them and then they throw the rocks down. I love that. And then part three's got a little fantastic bit of a cliffhanger. Somewhere on this planet, there are 10,000 Daleks. And then you've got that... It's just such a brilliant Dalek story all the way around. I love Planet of the Daleks. It's I might have to. I might we. Do, I might do a few on part of the planet of the Daleks. It's literally just another fantastic one. I do love it. I really, 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 really do love this story. It's in sixth favorite place, but it's just a good John Pertwee story. Unfortunately, in the top five, there ain't no more John Pertwee's ones in this. But this is my all-time favorite John Pertwee Dalek story. I will actually go back. I have actually gone back and watched the story more than once. I've watched this on VHS three times. The Blu-ray, I've actually watched this ten times since last year. It's just another great Dalek story. It's just a fantastic one. So, yeah, Death of the Daleks is amazing. So next up, it is Power of the Daleks. Now, this one is Triton's first ever story. The Daleks are on the planet Falcon. Not the Falcon from the Star Trek universe, but, a different, but the same name kind of planet in the Doctor Who universe. But it's brilliant. The Daleks crash land on Vulcan. It is just such a brilliant Dalek story and all the way around. The Daleks want power. I am your servant. I am your servant. It is such a shame this story is actually fully missing, but the BBC have animated this now for us and they've given it two releases. This is the normal release on this one. is the Blu-ray release where you got it on DVD and Blu-ray tw um, twice because you got it on black and white on DVD in the Blu-ray range. And then you got it in colour for the Blu-ray. And then in the same casing, and well, the same one, you got it in black and white and colour. And then this one's literally just a black and white one. But with a lot more extra stuff added into it. So I brought it that for that way. So now I've got it twice. But I'd have to say, Power of the Daleks is truly epic. I love the animation in this. I love that scene. Literally, where they're coming out of the machine. And you got them like, coming out one by one by one. Exterminate, Italite, destroy. Daleks have got to conquer. Daleks have got to conquer. Daleks have got to conquer. I just love that scene and I just love it. I just really love it when they got all of them going exterminate, italite, destroy. Daleks have got to. Like, I do love that scene in that story. It's This is such a fantastic Dalek story. I do love it. And we will be the masters of the universe. I really do love Power of the Daleks, as you can tell, but I just love it. I really, really do love it. 
is literally truly an epic one and fantastic and brilliant. I just love this story. Not many people. I don't really think people. I don't really hear people talk about this one as much. I just really like it. It's just a brilliant Dalek story all the way around. It really is. It's truly epic. I just love how the Daleks. And thank you for the BBC for animating the story for us so we can enjoy the missing story of Doctor Who of Power of the Daleks. I'm quite looking forward. I really am quite looking forward to owning the Evil of the Daleks when that gets released next year. Fourth place, it is Genesis of the Daleks. Now, this is where the fourth Doctor goes back into the Daleks' early creation of the Daleks, the Time Lords. Honestly, this is where Russell T. Davis says he's got the idea for the Time War. This sparks up the Time War. And this is just brilliant. You've got the fourth Doctor going back to try and stop Davros from creating the Daleks. And again, this was broadcast in season 12. As you can see, I've got it on Blu-ray, DVD. It, and I've got this on book as well. I've just got to get the VHS version of it as well. It's literally just a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story all the way around. This is from for Doctor Who magazine. They have actually put this as the 100, um, the, the all-time favourite Doctor Who episode well, story from Classic Who. Followed by Case of Androzani. But this one is just brilliant. It's brilliant all the way around. Six parts long. Tom Baker is brilliant in this. The whole cast are brilliant in this. Michael Wisher is brilliant as Davros. I love that bit where he's got the Doctor on the table. And, it go, and he goes um, to him and goes, You will tell me. You will tell me. I just love this story all the way through. It's just a fantastic one. The mutants are brilliant in this. The Fowls are brilliant in this. The Carlids are really, really good in this. Davros portrays the Carlids. He lets the Daleks loose and they attack the Carl Bunk the Carlit Bunker. It's just such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story all the way around. I do love this story. It's just fantastic. Pal the Genesis of the Daleks is just a brilliant, brilliant Tom Baker story. It's brilliant. I have to say, I do prefer this over to the Death Destiny of the Daleks, which is a, a sequel to the story back on Sky with the Mavellans. But this one is truly, truly amazing and brilliant. I just love power of the sorry genesis of the daleks is just literally a fantastic one i really do love this story it's just oh you know it's just a good dalek story it's brilliant it's brilliant and it's in fourth place because it's not as me other four three i have to say i love these more than i do love genesis of the daleks but i can see why it's been voted up as the best ever doctor who story the budget in this x really really shows how good it is as well i just love this story Death, so Genesis of the Daleks is in fourth place for me. So next up in number three, it is Resurrection of the Daleks. Now this one again, oh, I just love this. This one's another, this is Peter Davison's dark ever, like the first ever dark, dark story he ever did. I just prefer it so much. It's dark, you've got humans on a spaceship trying to run away from the Daleks. It's just such a fantastic episode. And you've got the Doctor tries to kill Davros in this, the Daleks want Davros to help him cause the Mavellans have created a deadly virus that kills the Daleks. So the Daleks want to survive, so they go around looking for Davros to try and get Davros to make a cure for them from this deadly plague. It's just such a brilliant Dalek story, I do love it. Resurrection of the Daleks is my third favourite Doctor Who story, as you can tell it's in third place. I just love the story so much, it's literally fantastic. The Daleks are truly epic in this. It's literally an amazing Dalek story, and the Daleks are dark and they even put on the Mavellan virus it on the on earth so so Davos can work on a cure for them um, and I do love that bit in episode three where you got the dark episode three episode two I think it's the end of episode two where the doctor comes out the Talos with Stai Stai and he goes Talo foolish boy quickly let's get out of here no doctor I didn't quite tell the truth I serve the Daleks I'm a Dalek agent, and then you got that. It's just such another Dalek story, and I love that bit in episode three. We got them going exterminate the Doctor, exterminate the Doctor. It's just a good, another good Dalek story, and I love that bit at the beginning as well, where you got them invading the human space station, and you got them like blowing the doors off, and then you got them going coming through four of them to get destroyed, and I leak this gas out, and it makes the people's faces go all cringy from the actual deadly virus rather well, the deadly gas it's just such a brilliant story terminal lies first ever appears as davros is in this story it's just such another brilliant brilliant story i love resurrection of the daleks 
I really do. And I love this piece of music because this music I'm playing is from this story. As you can tell. I just really, really love Resurrection of the Daleks. It's truly amazing and epic. It's just brilliant all the way through. So yeah, Resurrection of the Daleks, third place. So in number two spot, it has to be the Dalek Invasion of Earth. Now this was my very first ever 1960s Doctor Who DVD I ever brought back in 2005. And this was the actually only one I actually had. This was the one that started off my collection actually. It's just such a brilliant Dalek that I love it. So, and you can tell I've got three versions of the, I've got three Dalek figures from the story. I've got the Dalek Drone, the Saucer Pilot Dalek, and the Dalek Supreme. This is just such a brilliant Dalek story. I really do love it. And the Daleks invade Earth in 21, 2150, I think it is. And Susan leaves the top, top doctor on this planet on Earth to get married to David. I have to say, this is just truly an epic Dalek story. Susan's departure is brilliantly. William Hartnell has been as the first doctor. The Daleks invade the Earth. Oh, I just love it, love it, love it, love it. This is the first time ever the Daleks invaded Earth in Doctor Who history. Again, this is just such an amazing one. I love the Dalek saucer, because if you look at the artwork, the saucer for the Daleks haven't changed from the classic series all the way up to the modern, because really, it's still the same even now with Heckles and the Tenant and Smith and Capaldi. I just love the Dalek saucers. Just look how good it looks. It's good things. But the technology for the Daleks have changed a lot. This story is truly amazing and epic. I do love this story. Dalek Vision of Earth is my all-time second favourite. I love that scene with a Dalek drone. Um, like, comes out the water. And you got it, like, coming out the water like that. And then it, when you got in, in the doctor going, do you want to turn the word? We turn and dive in the water. Now, and all you see is this Dalek, like, coming out the water, going, uh, uh, with the eyes start moving and... It's just such a brilliant Dalek story, I just love it. And then you go, why are these human beings allowed to be so near that river? No explanation. What? Where is that robot man that is supposed to be patrolling this sector? Don't know. I just love this story, it's just fantastic. And especially when you got um, Barbara with that um, woman in that cottage and you got the Dalek saying, Yeah, well, follow me. Do not try to assist. You will be exterminated. Follow. It's just such a brilliant Dalek story. The Robot Men are brilliant in this. The Daleks are truly the masters of, of Earth in this story until the Doctor goes, Attack the Robot Men. Attack the Robot Men. Sorry, attack the Daleks. The Robot Men to attack the Daleks. It's just, again, another fantastic Dalek story. I am the Dalek Supreme from this story as well. It is just truly amazing Dalek story. I do love this story so much. Dalek Vision Earth, second story all round, and my first ever favourite William Hartnell story to ever watch. But it's not my all-time favourite Dalek story, because that is coming up now in number one. So, my all-time favourite Doctor Who story. Remembrance of the Daleks. And this is my all time favorite. The Doctor goes back to 1963 to pick up the hand of Omega that he left there way back in his very first incarnation because of Ian and Barbara finding a way into the TARDIS. This is just such a brilliant one. You've got a new cool Dalek design. So if I show you, you've got the Dalek Supreme that return, returns after two years off the screen. You've got the Imperial Dalek, the Special Weapons Dalek. That is the Dalek Shuttlecraft. It's just such a brilliant, brilliant Dalek story. You've got this little girl as well who's been controlled by the Daleks. It's just such a fantastic episode set in 1963. It's just an all-time favourite Dalek story. And this is Ace's second story. Well, this is the first story as a companion to the Doctor. It's just such a fantastic Dalek story. It's amazing all the way through. I just love it. And if I show you the discs as well. So you've got the special... You've got the Dalek Supreme... Special Weapons Dalek and the Imperial Dalek. This is the Supreme is for the Renegades because Davros actually turns him into he actually makes himself into the into the Emperor Dalek in the story. It's just such an amazing story. I do love this story. In, in remembrance of the Daleks is truly amazing and brilliant all the way through. I just really, really love it. It's just fantastic. Remembrance of Dalek. I love that bit as well where 
you've got Ace beating up a Dalek. He goes, small, kill all my females sighted on this building. She goes, oh, you're calling small. Beats up with it. And she's the only companion that beats up a Dalek with a baseball bat. And then you've got that scene where you've got them going, exterminate, exterminate, exterminate to Ace. It's just such a brilliant one. So number one, remember to the Daleks. So thank you for watching. Please do like, subscribe and share to my channel. I hope you all have a brilliant day. Thank you for watching.